Over the years, various ASPA presidents have been, or, I'm sorry, have provided individual recognitions to a variety of leaders in our profession across the state of Ohio. Collectively, these are referred to as our ASPA, ASPA Presidents Awards. As the name suggests, the ASPA Presidents Award is issued directly by the sitting ASPA president to recipients at our conferences. It is in this capacity that, as your ASPA president, it is my honor to confer the ASPA's President Award on two individuals, Dr. Mike Forcade and Dr. Paul Meradian. Mike and Paul, if you could come up, please. Mike and Paul are being recognized for their outstanding efforts in co-chairing our OSPA conference committees for many years. I'll start with Mike. As many, as many of you know, Mike Forcade previously served as our OSPA president in 1995. Soon afterwards, Mike was elected as our Ohio delegate to NASP. Over the years, he became extensively involved in running the NASP conferences, all while serving as a supervisor in Hamilton County. Upon his retirement, Mike decided to start transitioning new leadership into running the NASP conferences. That's when ASPA leadership learned that Mike might be available to help ASPA back here in Ohio. We soon began plotting how we'd go about capturing Mike for our own conference and planning purposes. <laughs> Happily, Mike accepted our invitation and agreed to serve as our fall conference committee co-chair. He brought with him a wealth of experience in conference programming and coordination, along with numerous contacts and resources to support our work. His tenure as conference chair was notable for conferences with high attendance, high engagement, and high quality of professional development. Paul, Dr. Paul Meradian stepped into ASPA leadership shortly after Mike and agreed to serve as co-chair of our spring conference committee. He had been a member of that committee for a few years and coordinated the annual poster session at the spring conference. Under Paul's leadership, this poster presentation event grew from a few tables to an entire wing of this hotel. Many of the presenters were students, interns, and other early career professionals. Paul encouraged their contributions and supported so many of them in making their first professional conference presentations and joining ASPA, myself included actually. Um, over the years, it had been increasingly challenging to achieve strong turnout at our spring conferences. At times, there were even some fiscal challenges associated with lower attendance and engagement. Paul worked tirelessly to coordinate spring conference planning with the planning that Mike was doing with the fall conference. They reviewed assessments of trainings needed offered by members and aligned content to the conferences to result in these needs of assessments. The outcomes of their work have been positive and lasting in terms of our conference attendance, fiscal balance, and evaluations from conference attendees. Collectively, beyond being competent, Mike and Paul have been exceedingly generous. From the outset, both of them planned to be transitional co-chairs. They agreed that they work, they'd work with ASPA to develop and implement enhanced practices but they were also clear with us that they would work to bring other members to the, uh, to the committee into their work. They placed high priority on developing the capacity of their committees and the incoming co-chairs so that new folks would be well prepared to take over when Mike and Paul stepped down. Mike and Paul were true to their word. They had overseen a thoughtful transition to new conference committee co-chairs and provided mentorship and support along the way. And our new conference conference chairs have been amazing, both with pivoting to virtual conferences during the pandemic and with getting us back here today for a great conference in person. Mike and Paul, you have left ASPA better than you found it. All of us are better for it. It is with all of this in mind that brings me, it brings me great pleasure to recognize these two outstanding colleagues with the ASPA President's Award. Congratulations. Thank you.